the lateral meniscus there are no disclosures no conflict of interest the, the zip, zip, zip lesions are identified during arthroscopy in, in the, the posterior lateral, lateral capsule of the lateral meniscus type 1 lesions comprise menisco capsular injury with a, within 12 mm from the posterior root of the lateral meniscus type 2 lesions are the lesions which extend in the root of lateral meniscus they also involve injury to the posterior menisco femoral ligament the injury will also involve the posterior lateral capsule disrupting the menisco tibial ligament and is an unstable tear type 3 lesions along with menisco capsular separation also have additional lateral meniscus tear the repair technique includes a diagnostic arthroscopy with standard photos in supine position to identify the presence of acl injury ramp lesion and the zip lesion once the zip lesion has been confirmed the scope is switched to the anteromedial port and a probe is passed from the anterolateral port with knee in figure of 4 position the extent of the zip lesion is examined with the with the probe probing the completeness of the tear a meniscal rasp is passed then to enhance the biology for the repair healing the inferior surface of the meniscus is probed to confirm the tear extension on the inferior surface after planning the repair strategy and all inside device is passed over the cannula with first suture being placed near the posterior root of the lateral meniscus in the posterior lateral capsule the second pass of the first suture is through the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus and is taken in a vertical configuration this stabilizes the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus the suture ends are then cut after securing the knot the second suture is placed just posterior to the popliteal hiatus in a horizontal configuration to cover maximum length of the zip lesion this inverts the meniscus exposing the inferior surface a third suture is placed on the inferior surface of the meniscus which makes it stable onto the tibial plateau a flexible all inside device makes it possible for easy deployment of the suture the scope is then switched to the anterior lateral port and the probe is passed to palpate the posterior inferior fascicle and the fourth suture is taken through the inferior surface of the meniscus to repair the posterior inferior fascicle of the lateral meniscus avoiding the popliteal tendon A suction test is then performed to see to see the stability of the meniscus repair. The procedure is completed by final check of the ACL reconstruction. Thank you for watching.